Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This video shows you how to revert back from Windows 10 to Windows 11. This is handy if you've upgraded to Windows 11 and you've found that you simply don't like it or something doesn't work and you need to go back. Now, there may well be a time limit to do this. I would say sort of try and do this within seven days. You might have 10 or up to 30 days, but I think as a general rule of thumb, it's generally seven days is the time limit that you've got to roll back before that facility disappears. So all you do is click on the start button there and then click on settings just up there. And then once settings is loaded, scroll down to update and security, click on that, then click on recovery just on the left hand side here. And there we go, we've got the option there, go back to the previous version of Windows 10. So it says, if this version isn't working for you, try going back to an earlier one. And there's a go back there. Now, if that go back is grayed out or just simply not available, then unfortunately you've missed the window to uh, revert back. And there's no way of reverting back without actually wiping your system clean and reinstalling Windows 10 as a fresh. So I'm going to click the go back button now and let's see what happens. So okay so it says getting things ready this won't take long and now it asks us why we're going back so uh, let's just select any reason here so uh, uh, just say my apps or devices don't work on this build, but obviously try and be as precise as possible here to help Microsoft out. And if you need to tell them more, then you've got to tell us more just there. So once you've done that, move your mouse over next, left click once, and then it says check for updates. Before you go back, try installing the latest updates. This might fix the problems you're having with Windows 10. Well, it's actually Windows 11. So uh, I'm going to move my mouse over, no thanks, left click once, and uh, it now says what you need to know. This might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it's done. Leave your PC plugged in and turned on. After going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs. You'll lose any changes made to the settings after installing the latest build. Are your files backed up? This shouldn't affect them, but it's best to be prepared. So yes, make sure that anything important to you is backed up just in case the worst happens at this point. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna put your system back to what it was under Windows 10. So if you've installed any programs since you've upgraded to Windows 11, then that you're gonna lose those programs. And if you've changed any settings since you upgraded to Windows 11, you're gonna lose those sort of settings that you've changed. It's gonna basically put the system back to what it was the day that you installed Windows 11. And hopefully your files should be okay, those should remain, but as I say, make sure that you've got a backup copy just in case anything should go wrong. Very rare that anything does go wrong, but it does happen. So once you're happy, move your mouse over next, left click once, okay? So it says, if you've used a password to sign in to your previous build, make sure you know it. You won't be able to sign in without it. So if you've changed your password since upgrading to Windows 11, or you've added or removed a password, then make sure that you know what your password was before you upgraded to Windows 11. So move your mouse over next once you're happy with that, left click once. And there we go. So it says, thanks for trying out this build. We'll install the next preview build when it's available. So let's move our mouse over, go back to earlier build and left click once. And there we go. It's now restarting and it will now start restoring the system back to Windows 10. And here we go. So we've got the uh, Windows 11 logo come up and the little spinny balls at the bottom of the screen. And they've just disappeared. And hopefully now we should get a message to say that it's uh, restoring back to the previous version. There we go, restoring your previous version of Windows. Now this bit might take a bit of time. Do not try and stop it. Leave it for as long as you can. If it takes a couple of hours, leave it for a few hours. If it takes even longer, then, then then just try and leave it. If you've got to leave it overnight, then leave it overnight. It could take some time. Really depends on the speed of your computer and how much it's got to restore back.
Okay, so we're now restarting and as you can see we've got back the old Windows 10 logo now. The little spinny balls are going round. So hopefully not long now before we're back to Windows 10. Okay, so we've got the slightly bigger spinny balls now and uh, it's uh, a smaller logo. Okay, so Windows is now signing in and here we go, we're back to our normal build of Windows 10 there with the old style start menu. So there you go, I hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel, just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.